The Swimmers is a short story by Julie Otsuka that explores themes of identity, loss, and the search for meaning in life. The story follows a group of elderly Japanese-American women who gather together at a community pool for their daily swim. As they move through the water, their thoughts and memories drift back to the past, and they reflect on the experiences that have shaped their lives. One of the central themes of The Swimmers is the search for identity. Throughout the story, the women struggle to reconcile their Japanese heritage with their American identity. They speak of feeling caught between two worlds, never fully accepted by either culture. For example, one of the women remarks that, we were too Japanese for the Americans and too American for the Japanese. This sense of displacement is further compounded by the women's experiences during World War II, when they and their families were forcibly interned in camps. The trauma of this experience still lingers, and they speak of feeling ashamed and embarrassed by their heritage. As one woman puts it, we didn't know who we were anymore. Despite these challenges, the women find solace and connection in their daily swim. As they move through the water, they feel a sense of unity and purpose. They are no longer isolated individuals, but part of a larger community. Through their shared experience, they are able to forge a sense of belonging and identity that transcends their cultural differences. Another key theme of the story is the search for meaning in life. The women are all elderly and facing the end of their lives. They reflect on the choices they have made and the paths they have taken, and wonder what it all means. They speak of the futility of striving for success and recognition, and the importance of finding joy and contentment in the small moments of life. One of the women, who was once a successful artist, reflects on the emptiness she felt despite her accomplishments. She recalls how she would spend hours in her studio, trying to capture something that was always just out of reach. In the end, she realizes that true fulfillment comes not from external validation, but from the act of creation itself. Overall, The Swimmers is a poignant meditation on the human experience. Through the stories of these women, Otsuka explores universal themes of identity, loss, and the search for meaning. The story is beautifully written with vivid descriptions of the women's movements through the water and their reflections on the past. By the end of the story, the reader feels a deep sense of connection with these characters, and a profound appreciation for the fleeting beauty of life. One of the strengths of the story is its use of imagery and symbolism. The pool becomes a metaphor for life itself, with the women's movements through the water symbolizing the ebb and flow of existence. The water also represents the fluidity of identity, as the women are able to shed their cultural labels and simply be themselves. The use of repetition is also effective in conveying the themes of the story. The phrase, we were swimmers, is repeated throughout the story, emphasizing the women's shared identity and purpose. The repetition of certain phrases and images also creates a sense of unity and cohesion, echoing the way the women move together through the water. In conclusion, The Swimmers is a powerful and moving work of literature. Through its exploration of themes of identity, loss, and the search for meaning, it speaks to the universal human experience. Otsuka's beautiful writing and skillful use of imagery and repetition make the story both compelling and memorable. Ultimately, 
the swimmers, is a reminder that even in the face of adversity and uncertainty, we can find solace and connection in the small moments of life.